I just finished watching episodes 4 and 5 back to back of WandaVision. And I am calling out all the bullshit of this show. Not mistakes, not stupid, but bullshit. Not of just a couple of things happening in the episodes, but the bullshit inherent in this show. Now, this, ep this show got away with a lot of stuff in the first few episodes because we as an audience were purposely misled by Disney to falsely, with a false impression of this could be you know, an alternate reality, an alternate dimension, this was all happening in Wanda's head. This could be some type of forced simulation, you know, put upon her by sword. Because we didn't know what was actually going on and why, we let things go in hopes that future episodes would explain what was going on. Well, episodes four and five are those future episodes and they do explain what's going on and they establish all the bullshit of this show. The first thing I want to cover is all of Wanda's new bullshit powers. You see, a lot of the things that happened in the first few episodes, we simply attributed to it being, you know, an alternate reality or it's all happening in her mind or it's a simulation. Except, it's not. It's actually being created and controlled by Wanda. Which means, the people in Westview are actually being controlled by Wanda. When did Wanda suddenly get the ability to mass mind control everyone? Bullshit! We didn't realize that everybody in Westview was doing what they were doing because Wanda was mind controlling them too. But episodes 4 and 5 do. So now Wanda can mass mind control people? Bullshit. And if she can mind, mass mind control people, why didn't she just use that mass mind control ability on all the sword agents who are trying to stop her. Bullshit! Do you understand? Not only does this show give Wanda this bullshit power, but the show actually establishes how much of a bullshit power it actually is. Because they only let her use this bullshit power for the specific purpose the show needs her to use it. They only need her to use this bullshit power to control the people in Westview. They, they, do, they don't need her to use this bullshit power to deal with the sword agents because that's not what her bullshit power is for. Her bullshit power is only for whatever the show wants her to use it for. That's Bullshit! Then we have the dome covering Westview. The show actually tries to pretend to give the impression they don't understand what this dome is or the shield is or how it works. But then establish that it's created by Wanda. Wanda can now create this dome that encompasses Westview? Bullshit! Okay? Not only that, she doesn't even have to consciously co focus on it. The, the dome, as powerful and as huge as it is, 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 is a background power for her. She, Wanda can mass mind control the entire town create a giant dome encompassing the town without even having to focus on it. Professor X can't even do ma mass mind control without focusing on that. Doctor Strange can't create a, a, a magical effect 
without constantly co concentrating on it. But one that can just, you know, pop off a, gi a giant dome, the surrounding, you know, Westview, without really any effort, and at the same time, mass mind control an entire town, you know, without that much effort. Bullshit. Okay? Then, we have that scene where Wanda and Vision are on the street and they encounter the beekeeper character. And Wanda, you know, kind of like rewinds and replays that scene. Now again, because we did, we weren't sure of what the, situa the circumstances were with the situation, we let it go. But now we know what the circumstances are. This is happening in real time in the MCU. Meaning, when Wanda did that little bit of rewind, guess what she did, boys and girls? The show just established that Wanda can now travel through time. Bullshit! That's what happened. When Wanda rewound and went back into the house and re and reenacted that scene, she just traveled through time. It's not an alternate reality. It's not a simulation. It's her creating and controlling it. She can now travel through time? Bullshit. And if she could, why isn't she going to use it any other time in the show? Because it sure would have been helpful previously and she suddenly learned this power for that one scene bullshit oh the twins i forgot about the twins here's another bullshit power they gave wanda and that was the twins aging what five or six years now when it happened we were going along the lines of it was the sitcom doing it for convenience or it was the alternate reality or whatever the hell the situation was but no this is all being created and controlled by wanda meaning wanda can now now has the power to accelerate aging how else did the twins go from babies to six-year-olds bullshit then Wanda goes to the twins, uh, uh, you, you, you can only have a puppy when you get older. The twins look at each other and then they age themselves. So what? Now the twins have the power to age them, uh, rapidly age themselves? What other magical pop bullshit powers is this show going to conveniently give these people that whatever is necessary for the show to continue. So now the twins have this bullshit arbitrary power of being able to age themselves? What other bullshit arbitrary power is this show gonna give Wanda and the twins just because the show wants to give them to them? You, you can't just drop powers on a character just because it's convenient and because you just want them to. Yeah, that's bullshit. As an example, let's take a let's take a, a a Wolverine movie, okay? Let's say the movie wants Wolverine, okay, to suddenly grow wings and be able to fly. For no other reason than the fact that the show just wants him to, because that's what they need him to do. If you were to watch a movie and see Wolverine just suddenly gain the powers and ability to grow wings and fly. You'd be going, that's bullshit. Why? Because it's an arbitrary power just dropped on them for the sake of dropping it on them. Well, that's what they're doing to Wanda and the twins. They're just arbitrarily dropping whatever powers on them they want them to have for the sake of having them. Hence, rendering the powers that they have bullshit. Then, we have the whole TV sitcom theme of the WandaVision show. Now, because we didn't know the circumstances of what was going on, we let it go. We let it ride. 
live in hopes that they would eventually explain. Well, they did. Wanda's creating and controlling it. Well, if Wanda's creating and controlling it, why the hell is she reenacting TV sitcom shows? Bullshit! There's no reason for her to. There is absolutely nothing to establish why Wanda would reanimate uh, Vision, try to create this simulated family life, but do so reenacting TV sitcoms. This was a bullshit little gimmick by Disney to just try to give this show some type of surreal aspect. But because the show revealed it's created and controlled by Wanda, the whole TV sitcom concept is bullshit. Not only that, <clears throat> the fact that it's jumping decades every episode. Why? There is no absolute, there's no actual reason why every episode would jump 10 years in TV sitcom history. It's bullshit. Then we have the added bonus of how this show is portraying WandaVision as a TV episode with, you know, closing credits. Because we end up having Darcy, uh, Kat Dennings character, I think. She has that little TV that is receiving the signal emitting from the dome or whatever that's being transmitted or, you know, relayed or portrayed as a TV sitcom that WandaVision is living. Okay, great, no problem. But then the closing credits uh, start scrolling and they end up ending. What does Darcy do? She turns off her TV. Bullshit! I want to know what happens now when the, cr when the credits stop rolling. What happens in Westview when the TV episode ends? What does Wanda and Vision and all the other people in Westview do once the credits of that episode ends? Do you understand the bullshit of it? That's why the, that's why the TV show had to have Darcy click the TV off because this show doesn't know how to make that concept work because the concept is utter bullshit. What happens to all the people in Westview once an episode ends? Are they all standing in, in, in suspended animation? What, what's happening? Is the story not continuing? Do you understand? Everything about this, about WandaVision being portrayed as a TV sitcom is bullshit. But I'm watching Darcy watch an episode of the WandaVision TV sitcom. And the show does an adequate enough job explaining how she's able to see it because she's able to pick up a broadcast frequency and is able to transmit it into, into a signal and be able to watch it. Fine. What the show conveniently doesn't explain is why there's a broadcast frequency in the goddamn first place. Why? Not only why is there one, but who would have created it in the first place? Well, wouldn't it be the person who's creating and controlling the whole WandaVision concept in the first place? Which would be Wanda. So the show gave Wanda the power to have the WandaVision TV sitcom be transmitted in a broad as a broadcast frequency. Well, why would the show have Wanda do that? And then, even if she does have this bullshit power, why would she be transmitting 
the broadcast frequency of the One Division TV sitcom in the first place. Oh, because the show wants her to have this power and use that power for no other reason except so that Darcy and Sword can pick up the show that isn't actually a show but is being somehow portrayed as a show but we really don't know how it's being portrayed as a show but don't worry about it because then that would establish the absolute bullshit of this concept because it doesn't make sense it doesn't work and it's incomprehensible on any goddamn level. Not only is the whole TV sitcom gimmick bullshit, the show isn't even executing it properly. Like, when you have the dinner scene with the boss, why would he question and challenge Wanda about where they're from and where they, or when they got married? If Wanda is mind-controlling them all, if Wanda is controlling what they're all doing and saying and acting, then, there's, then how could the boss basically go off script in the first place? Because then, well, what is it, in episode 5 or whatever, when you have Vision and Wanda and Agnes with the twins, and Vision kind of challenges Wanda... Agnes goes, do, do you want me to do it again? Do you want me to retake it? As, as, if it's, as if she knows it's a script and she has a specific set of lines that she has to follow? How does that work, show? What the hell are you doing? Do you understand the level of bullshit surrounding everything about the concept of it being a TV sitcom? The show, this is such bullshit, even the show can't keep up with knowing how to even deal or work with this bullshit. How does Agnes get out of character going, oh no, that's not my line? Or Vision screwed up his line, let's redo that scene again? How? How does that work in the little bullshit reality that you created. It, it, it's incomprehensible. It doesn't even work with the bullshit that this show is using in the goddamn first place. It just, this is insane. The funny thing is, I actually gave up on this show after the third episode. Because I, I really stopped caring. Okay? But then, I ended up watching episode four and five with some people. And it was like, oh my god! This is... This show was actually bad, as bad as the whole first three episodes being nothing but recreations of TV sitcom eras. The show would have been better off just staying with that concept as opposed to actually trying to have it be more and actually explain what the hell's going on because the explanation of what's going on is even dumber and more stupid than the actual portrayal of the various TV sitcom eras in the first place. It, at least, yeah, the first three episodes, the, the whole recreating TV sitcoms is stupid, but we didn't know how stupid it was and how bullshit it was. So it had that going for it. Now, it's actually revealed how bullshit the, the, the TV sitcom concept is and how this whole show works in the first place. Now, this show no longer has the safety net that... Okay, it, it was, it's more like how at the end of The Wizard of Oz where the guy goes, pay no attention to the you know that man behind the curtain. What this show did was it had hit, for the first three episodes, it hid the bullshit behind the curtain and all we as an audience could see was the curtain we were confused we didn't know what was really going on but at least the bullshit was hidden 
with episodes four and five, Disney basically moved the uh, the curtain, and now we as an audience can see the bullshit that was hiding behind the curtain the entire time. We can now see the bullshit this show is based off. You were bet this show was better off keeping the bullshit behind the curtain, not having anybody see it. Even though we would always be continuously confused and not sure what was going on, at least that would have been better than revealing the bullshit it, it, that was behind the curtain in the first place. Anyway, I I could probably go on, but I, th this was just the stuff off the top of my head that I wanted to cover. Uh, I'm sure there's more, but I'm not. Th this show isn't worth me going through all the episodes and picking out each one. This was good enough. If, if this wasn't enough to point out the absolute bullshit this show is based off of, then no more, no other examples would help anyway. Anyway, uh, guess I'm done. Uh, I'm out of here. See ya.